So we're going to have a look at um, repeating groups and load speed and what you can do about that um, and how you might use some UI UX tricks to uh, give the user something to look at while they're waiting for it to load. So if I just move this off behind here, I've got a, a repeating group and I'm actually pulling a list of movies from the database. In the database, I've got um, something like 7,000 movies. Let's have a look, 7,791, in fact. Um, so it's a big database, <clears throat> fairly big. Uh, but what I've done is I've got it full list, but I've actually got it so it only loads the first 100. So the first thing you can do is obviously limit what it loads. And something like the extended vertical scrolling um, will will limit in terms of the number of uh, line items it will load and then you scroll and it loads the next it's kind of the instagram effect of scrolling up um, and it loads only when you're scrolling uh, so that's probably the best way of doing it but sometimes obviously you want to load a big lump of it for whatever reason so in this case 100 um i've got no filters on this uh i've got no constraints at all etc no filters or advanced filters so that should be this fastest the more constraints and the more advanced filters or filtering that you put on uh, to your repeating group, obviously the slower it's going to get. But even so, it's still going to be fairly slow to load. If I just move this over here out of the way and we actually look at the page, let's see how many seconds it takes to load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds to load what is 100 records. So pretty slow. Um, yeah, and, that, and that's obviously one of the limitations of bubble. But let's uh, put this over the top of it. So I've got a group, just a, a group here. I've called it loading screen. I've got an icon, standard icon. So drag and dropped an icon from over here. Um, but I've ticked the make the icon rotate. And obviously you could use a GIF, wh whatever you want in here. You could have a bit of text saying loading, please wait, etc. cetera. Um, and what I've done is I've made this visible by default, so this box will hide the repeating group. Um, but I have a conditional on the, the group that says repeating groups, movies, list of movies, last item is not empty. So the last item in that repeating group, as soon as it's not empty, this will um, disappear. So this element is visible, becomes not true, and therefore will disappear. So let's have a look at the effect of that. <clears throat> So we've got the spinny icon and it'll be there. It'll be there for the nine seconds or eight seconds or whatever it takes to load. Um, and as soon as it's loaded, it'll disappear. So that's a nice UI UX trick um, that you can do when you're loading large tables of data. Hope that helps.